Barack Obama pledged to reduce the U.S. troop presence in Iraq, and there are many people who voted for him for just that reason. Well, now there's another deployment he needs to stop, the U.S. troop deployment within the United States. According to press accounts, the U.S. military expects to have 20,000 uniformed troops stationed inside the U.S. by 2011, the first 4,700-strong active-duty combat brigade has been ready and available at Fort Stewart, Georgia, since October. The Bush administration says it's all about helping state and local officials respond to nuclear terrorist attacks and other unnamed domestic threats. And that's supposedly why Congress has gone along with this. Quoted in the Washington Post December 1st, an assistant defense secretary, Paul McHale, said that just five years ago, this kind of U.S. deployment would have been, quote, extraordinary to the point of unbelievable. But apparently, 9-11 and Katrina changed all that. Says McHale, the realization that civilian authorities may be overwhelmed in a catastrophe prompted a fundamental change in the culture. Now, the Bush administration is calling for three rapid reaction forces to be ready for emergency response by September 2011. And Defense Secretary Robert Gates appears to be all for it. Civil libertarians are furious. There is such a thing, they say, as the Posse Comitatus Act, which prevents the government from using military as a tool for law enforcement without express authorization from Congress. But welcome to the legacy of Bush. Under-resourced civilian authorities enough. And bingo, the People's Congress will okay domestic troop deployments to help. Didn't like how police cracked down on demonstrators in St. Paul this summer? Well, no worries. Next time, it'll be soldiers. Didn't like domestic spying? Well, try domestic militarization. Those who are worried better make their voices heard to Congress. But don't cause too much of a disturbance, or it may not just be toy soldiers showing up in your town this Christmas. That's all we have time for today. You'll find everything you've seen on this show at our website, grittv.org. There's a place to comment on every story. While you're there, join our mailing list so we can let you know what's coming up. There's a podcast and a Twitter feed of every posting. Just follow Grit TV on Twitter and become a supporter. We're broadcasting commercial-free across the United States on Free Speech TV, Dish Network Channel 9415. Ask for us on your local cable station. Thanks for watching.